Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of the Ratliff Mandolin's Weekly Production Diary. It's Monday morning and I expect that every day this week the job jar list will be exactly the same. I will start the day by emptying out the metal bending molds where I've bent the sides and take those sides and put them in the wooden molds where I can glue the blocks and the interior linings and stuff in the bent sides. And then I will bend more sides in those metal bending molds and glue up the blocks in the wooden molds. And that will be about all I can do in the bending sides part of things that day. I will then move on to the table that I have specially built to uh, carve out the tops and the backs. And right now I'll be working on 10 tops so that hopefully I will have those tops ready to glue on by the time I have some sides that have had all the blocks and linings glued in and they will be ready to have the top glued on. So that's the whole idea is to have the tops ready about the same time the sides are ready. And I'd bet money that that will be my day every day this week, Monday through Friday. So we'll start bending sides right now.
Now the work week is progressing quite nicely. I uh, start the day off with a side bending and block gluing uh, session where I bend sides and uh, glue the blocks in to uh, pull the sides out of the mold that I bent yesterday, put them in the assembly molds and start gluing the interior blocks in and then bend new, uh, new sides as I'm doing Basically, I do about two or three jobs at the same time, and so the, the results are that I have a couple of sets of sides completely glued up with the, every block it needs to be in it, and then I've scattered back down through the process. There's uh, sides, sets of sides with only maybe just the head block or the head block in the first corner uh, point and that sort of thing glued in. And so, but I do have two of them right now that have every block glued in that needs to be glued in. So these are ready to be run through the sander and leveled up and have the kerfing put in, in preparation for the tops. And the tops, as you've seen, all of those tops that we have laid out are uh, shaped on the inside smooth down to 220 grit, just as slick as slick can be, and the, at least the inside is ready for the tone bars, and the outside, of course, is still very, very rough, and uh, for those of you who don't know, I set up a drill press with a stop here, and a, the drill bit comes down, and it's only allowed to go so far down and leave an empty spot right there, and then we run the top through there and drill, so that when we sand or carve down or clean up, however we choose to do that, to the bottoms of the holes, then we have a shape as we go this way. Uh, the top is all the same thickness. Now that's not done because we want the top to taper out and have a certain shape. And so once I get the rough, uh, wood off, then we'll go back and do the same process again, usually two times or maybe three times, uh, each time kind of easing that uh, drill bit down just a little closer and we go to the bottom of the hole and we start using finer and finer tools as we do that uh, until we have the final shape for the top that, we're, that, I, that's, that I, I'm looking for and then I'll glue those tone bars in and then they will be ready to put on this set of sides and then we'll have the first of the mandolin carcasses if you want to come out and they'll be ready to move on to the next processes. So that's where we're at right at the moment. It's Thursday morning. I've got a couple more days in, in this week to, to, uh, to work and we're just going to continue plodding along.
Well, that's about it for today's side bending exercises. All of the gluing molds are full and all of the uh, bending molds are full. Um, it's interesting, it's just about lunchtime. So that's about three and a half hours worth of work. If you'd asked me, I'd have said, well, maybe two hours. But when I started timing it and stuff, it turns out that it's a little bit bigger job than I thought. But for today, everything's done. We can move on to the tops. back here doing this job again everything has been set just a little closer this time we're going to go over it with some finer grit paper on a smaller sander rather than that big wood hog that I've got and we're just going to come down to the bottom of these holes and actually we'll probably be back here on this top two or and on on all of the other ones as well at least two more times as we just sneak up on the final uh, thicknesses and graduations that we want. So that's where we're at right now. I've got all these tops. This is the first one that I'm running back through again to get just a little closer to where we want to end up at. and as you can see it is raining and it promises to rain all day long you're looking at a rain barrel that we put out back to catch rainwater for our two raised bed gardens out here beside the uh, shop and the sticks are in there to keep uh, any chipmunks that happen to fall into the water barrel which happens occasionally from drowning they've got something to grab onto and climb back out and so since we started putting a stick down in the rainwater barrel, we haven't had any chipmunks drowned, and that's a good thing as well. Now, like I said, it is Friday, and so uh, it's time for me to close this video off, but let me share what I need to share with you before we do that. Uh, number one, we've got a set of Rubner tuners here, mandolin number six in this batch. Uh, the man wanted Rubner tuners and he ordered them and had them sent here. And I've not even opened the box yet, but I'm kind of excited about that because I've never seen a set of Rubner tuners. So let's just open these things up together. I've used a lot of different tuners. Right now I'm using Grovers, but in the past I've used uh, Waverly's and uh, Shallers and Goda's, and they're all nice tuners. But one uh, set of uh, brand of tuners that I've never used is Rubner's, so I'm very anxious to see these things. They're made in Germany, apparently. And 
like I said earlier, they're going to Madeline number six. About, but we're about to find out, aren't we? That's obviously some sort of tool. There's the ferrules and the screws. Oh wow. Aren't those pretty? Golly, very tight and very smooth. Man, there's no rattle in those things. Now notice it's got a raised edge right here and I'll bet I'll bet three dollars that's the tool that does the job to cut a recess in the peg head for that little part right there boy those are nice tuners Oh yeah, there's a picture. Back, back holes of the headstock. That's the countersink tool for installation. Right then. So I'll have to admit I'm very impressed. These are very nice tuners. I look forward to using them and I think it was a very good choice. These are world class. Just as good as you can get. I like them. Now I'll uh, tell you the other things that I need to tell you before we can close this video off. Um, as you can see, all of the tops have had their secondary drilling, their second drilling, and we are basically just sneaking up on the proper thicknesses, and each time we're just being more and more careful and using finer and finer grit paper and smaller sanders to get exactly what we want, and eventually we will wind up with the top being shaped and thicknessed exactly the way we want it. As you can see, we have of the five F-style molds that I have, three of them are full now. Uh, the blocks have been roughly glued in, and so it's time for level sanding and cleaning and all that kind of stuff prior to putting in the uh, kerfing. And then once the kerfing is in and cleaned up, then they will be ready for the tops, which obviously, as you just got through seeing, are not quite ready to glue on just yet, but we are working on it and we'll probably get to that next week and so let me invite you to come back next week and see just if we do get that far along to glue a top on a set of sides boy wouldn't that be interesting so hopefully we'll see you then next week on the next episode of the ratliff mandolin's weekly production diary my name is ollie ratliff and i bid you a good week and we'll see you next week